Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do a very beautiful purple glitter eye look. So I'm going to start off with my brows first, and for that, I'm going to use this Nykaa eyebrow pencil. So I'm just going to fill in my brows using this, and then I'm just going to spoolie my brows so that there's no extra product left on my brows. Next up, I'm going to use a concealer, and I'm going to use this Sugar Magic Wand concealer, and I'm going to prime my eyelids. And then using this concealer brush from Pack Cosmetic, I'm going to blend out the concealer all over my lids to prime it very well. Next up, I'm going to use this beautiful eyeshadow palette from Nika K and this is called as Poison Apple. And it is a very beautiful plus affordable eyeshadow palette and I have definitely created more than 5 to 6 look using just this palette so now i'm just going to use a darker shade all over my lids as you can see and i'm just going to blend the uh, edges make sure that you pat the color very well onto your lid so that it doesn't fade away easily next up i'm going to use this glitter eyeshadow palette from swiss beauty and i'm going to pick up this very gorgeous purple lilac shade and this is how the shade looks like i absolutely love how does it look and then using this primer glue from pack cosmetic and i'm going to apply this all over my lids so that the glitter doesn't fall off easily so it's very easy to use a glitter glue you just have to take a little bit of product and apply it all over your lids and then just press the glitter on your eyelids you can also use a brush or you can use your fingers to do so now i'm just going to repeat the same steps on my other eye too first applying the glue then applying the glitter with the brush just patting the glitter so that it doesn't fall off on my uh, cheek and then i'm just going to use uh, some eyelashes and these are from henna henna and these are in the style shiza and it looks absolutely stunning on my eyes i absolutely love their lashes they are like really beautiful and they doesn't make your eyes feel very heavy next i'm just going to clean whatever mess is created under my eyes and then i'm just going to move on to moisturize my face and for that i use the pons lightweight moisturizer and it is my most favorite moisturizer it definitely gives enough hydration on your skin but it is ultra light next up for my primer i'm going to use this sugar eligible primer and i'm going to apply this all over my face and massage this into my skin really well it definitely feels very smooth on the skin plus it definitely fills in my pores too also it definitely makes my uh, makeup last longer on my face so yeah that's that next up for my foundation i'm going to use this color bar 24 hour weightless foundation and i'm in the shade fc 6.2 and this is like my perfect match foundation and this is also a light to medium coverage foundation and i absolutely love the finish of this foundation on my skin and i really love how it sits well onto my skin and as you can see a little bit of product goes a really long way because the product spreads really well onto your skin plus it blends beautifully onto your skin and as you can see the product glides on my skin very smoothly and very effortlessly and one pump of the foundation is like enough for my whole face but if you want to uh, uh, opt for a high coverage uh, finish then you can definitely build this up and i really love the finish too it gives a very semi matte kind of a finish which i absolutely love next up for my concealer i'm going to use this palette from uh, nika and this is called as nika skin genius concealer palette so i'm going to pick up two shades to highlight and contour my face and then i'm just going to blend this out really well into my skin and today i'm going to use mostly cream products on my face and then i'm going to move on to some powder products so here you can see i have blended out my concealer and my contour i'm also going to apply whatever product is left on my brush onto my nose and then for my blush i'm going to uh, use this lipstick as my cream blush and this is from l'oreal rouge signature lipstick 
and this is in the shade i guess uh, i am maze and it's a very beautiful peachy nudie shade and it absolutely looks very beautiful on our dusky skin tone too next up to powder my face i'm going to use this uh stay matte powder from rimmel and it's a very 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 matte powder but it definitely gives a very smoother look to your face this powder definitely doesn't uh, dry out your skin too next i'm going to uh, use a nude eyeliner on my uh, waterline and this is from pack then to smoke out my lower lash line i'm going to go back to the first shade which i applied on my crease and then with the smaller brush i'm going to just uh, pack the color on my uh, lower lash line and then using a fluffy brush i'm just going to uh, blend it out really well so that it looks really smoky and nice then for my lashes i'm going to use this uh I'm going to use the Maybelline Push Up Drama Mascara and this is like best for your lower lashes because it easily separates your lower lashes and gives a very voluminous look. Then moving on towards my most favorite part which is lipstick. I'm going to use this mask newly launched lip crayon and this is in the shade 08 Girl Power. It's a very stunning peachy nudie brownie lipstick and I absolutely love the shade and it looks absolutely gorgeous on deeper skin tones too. And as you can see it goes really well with the eye look and these lip crayons are transfer proof and waterproof as well next up for my highlighter i'm going to use this swiss beauty highlighter and this is in the shade 04 and this is a very beautiful champagne gold highlighter as you can see it is like really blinding and and it definitely complements our tusky indian skin tones and it absolutely looks beautiful i really love this one and it does have a little bit of uh, chunky particles but if you just use your sponge it looks really smooth and nice on your skin and the last product that i'm going to use is this pack micro finish makeup fixer and i'm just going to set my makeup using this and this is also a very great product and it smells divine i really love the fragrance of this product and yeah that's it for this video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching this and if you did then please don't forget to hit the like button also please subscribe to my channel it would mean a lot to me and i'll see you in my next one till then bye bye take care stay safe